Hello, it's Monday today. Unfortunately, I'm feeling a lot more with it and on top of things today than I was yesterday. Izzy continues to be confined in her room. Sorry, messy bed, haven't made it yet. It's because I'm spending so much time in it these days in the day. It hardly seems worth making it since it's turned into my work hub. I've been doing some work at my desk here. My emails are all open. I've been ordering a coronavirus test for myself because I need to do a PCR test on the 22nd of July. So I'm gonna have that all queued up and ready. I also have been checking availability of personnel for a gig in the distant future and emailing the client back to confirm availability. I have also been doing a survey online, which is, it was when I got sent something about in the post and it's a 10 quid for like a 10 minute survey. So that was definitely worth doing. I did one before. It's just a little bit of something in it. I forgot to tell you how Izzy is because I just told somebody else on the phone and I'm confusing it with the camera. Right, Isabel is much the same, but she says her throat feels extra clogged up, whatever that means. But she's still able to get back and forth to the toilet all right, but she's just very wiped out, very fatigued. So this has been going on for quite some time now. What day are we? We are Monday, sixth day of it now. But she's eating all right, she's had some cereal. I am working my way through this to-do list that I have in my diary. It's actually on yesterday and I'm just going back a day and working through yesterday's to-do list because I had had enough yesterday. <laughs> it's like going on strike if you remember. I was just like, I'm fed up, I'm going to learn Portuguese all day and I enjoyed that as well. But yeah, today I am cracking on with the list. Speaking of which, I've got a vlog to get up so I'm going to work on that now. And I'm sipping away at a nice cold Coke, which is very pleasant because it is really quite warm. Oh, do you want to know the temperature? 28, there we are. I was out watering my plants first thing this morning and do you know what? I had to let the hose pipe run through quite a bit because the water coming out of it was red hot. It was like putting a hot tap on. Honestly, it was almost enough to burn your hands. I wasn't sure if the plants would have liked it. So yeah, I wasted quite a bit of water just um, sort of washed the yard down a bit with it. Uh, slightly worrying is I came on with a bit of a cough earlier but it seems to have gone off now but it was quite an insistent nagging one. It was like a really watery one and irritating one. I was thinking is this hay fever slash asthma but it, it's gone off now so that's a relief but I will do a lateral flow test later on but I'll leave it a bit because I'll you know if there is anything I need it to manifest a bit so it'll have more of a chance of registering on the test. That would be a bit of a pain wouldn't it? It's 20 to 4 now I've been cracking through my list I've ordered my mum a birthday present and uh, just sort of fiddling around doing my counts a little bit. I'm trying to keep on top of them and do them as I go this year. Um, I'm going to do a lateral flow test now. I think it's about just coming up to half an hour since I think I had that last week of coke. So I'm going to do that. Izzy is also getting a bit peckish. So as soon as I've just quickly done that test, which I won't film, I will crack on and decide what to feed her. This is the first one I'm not 100% expecting to be negative. I've got like a niggling, like, worry that... I might be, yeah, we'll just see, won't we? That is now done and the liquid's going up and my nose feels like it's been in a swimming pool. Chance would be a fine thing. Puzzle update, anybody? <laughs> it's looking like that. I spent quite a bit of time on it last night. That's soaked up with one line so far. Looking so far so good, but we'll come back and have a look at that in half an hour. So I've only just done it. Minutes later, here's Izzy's very quick lunch that I've made. I fried up some potatoes that I had boiled yesterday for dinner. And there's a salad with a load of tin tuna in it. I've taken those up and I'm randomly frying up these leftover veggie sausages that were in the fridge that I cooked yesterday. For me, there's not very much there. I'm gonna add them to the salad. And I'm gonna eat a banana while that's cooking because I'm really hungry. And I might have, I don't know, a bit of chocolate or an ice cream or something afterwards because it's not very carby. I've got calorie allowance left over at the end of that for a decent and afters I reckon. Oh I know what I'll have if there's any left. Yeah, Muller Corners. I'm gonna have to go shopping. Well not go shopping. I'll have to order a shop at some point. Well we're all right so far. We're okay for a bit but I might order one to come in a few days time you know because the veg is going down a bit. Yeah I just don't want to run out and not be able to get any you know. And of course I have got frozen stuff in the freezer like frozen veg and that so that should be all right too. I devoured the banana. There's my rather random second course. Lateral flow. Yay! Negative. Good. Phew. That's the worst light impossible for a vlog. I've been doing admin all afternoon pretty much. Various things. Trying to apply for some funding because of the isolation. Apparently you can try your luck with that. <laughs> I've been submitting bank statements and all sorts of letters and documentation so that took me a while because the flipping website timed out didn't it and i had to start uber when i was nearly at the end but anyway yeah so that took ages what else i've been doing 
oh yeah looking at the choir schedule thingy for izzy luckily bit of good news you know she got into that choir and we were like oh no covid now she can't do it well she can do it because she doesn't have her first rehearsals until august so what they're doing is they're going to send out all the material for the children to learn and they're going to learn it at home and then come together once they've already learned stuff independently so that's fine that should still go ahead and there was one more bit of good news that Izzy had had right prior to coming down with Covid which was her college are doing a summer course and they hand-picked students Izzy thinks judging by who they've picked that it's the ones that are most likely to do the work so they've been picked to do a skills two weeks and the first week is this week and she's obviously not able to do it because she's poorly but they were not consecutive weeks there's a big gap between now and the following week and they have said that she can just go and do the second week under the circumstances because she was worried she'd lose the place and then give it to somebody else but they haven't so yay she is very excited for that she just wants to crack on she wants it to be september already and go back to college she's just so into the course that she's doing so that's good i'm i'm happy that she'll have a week of structure and it doesn't clash with the choir. It's about quarter past six now. I've set myself up with my laptop uh, notebook to do some more Portuguese. Looking forward to that. I'm going to carry on with that video where I left off. Made myself a fresh decaf coffee. Well, there's a little bit of caffeine in there, just a little bit, you know. And I found my iPad. I thought I'd left it somewhere. So happy because I've got a book to read on that. And I can read it on the phone. I've got a Kindle app on the phone, but I like the iPad really. The phone. I don't know, I just want to get away from the phone, <laughs> so I'm glad I've got it anyway. You can hear the noise. My street's full of kids now because they've broken up from school. Sometimes though they're so noisy I can't hear what I'm doing <laughs> on the thingy. When I'm editing I have to shut my windows usually because, yeah, I can't tell if my volume levels are consistent because they just get so noisy. <laughs> but at least they're having fun and fresh air and a bit of sunshine hey and we're up to 30 again or 80 what's that 84 hmm. Right, that's where I was up to. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so fast. I don't know if you know this, but when you're watching YouTube, if you use this arrow button, it goes back five seconds in the video. So if you're doing something like I am here and you want to replay and replay the same little section over and over, that's really handy course if you click on the cog there you probably know you can speed it up or slow it down I think most people know this but go to playback speed look you can slow it down or speed it up so that's handy as well if you're trying to learn languages I'm not doing it though I'm using full speed and I'm just pausing it a lot and rewinding at the moment it's ages since I've done any reading in Portuguese and I'd forgotten how effective it is for learning stuff because it's so in context, it's more memorable. I think it's much harder just learning off lists. I suppose spaced repetition and flashcards, it, it kind of does go in. But I don't know, there's just nothing like context of a narrative. It really, it just makes more sense in the moment, you know? And with the additional benefit of being able to use video and hear the audio at source as your reading it and jotting it down because you can like play it back and play it back just those few seconds and copy it and refine it and really just zoom in on one portion of the word you know and just listen to that last vowel sound over and over and over and over again and look at the mouth shape and it's so much more effective I think than just learning it off a plain book because that's what I used to do years ago just a dictionary and a book but Oh, now we've got modern advancement. <laughs> in other news, another Joby tripod has just bit in the dust. All I did was bend this leg slightly and crack. Can you see that crack there? This is the smaller one. I have a bigger one. Yes, there's the 3K rig <laughs> by there, um, which I've been avoiding using because I prefer to use it with the bigger camera because I wanted to save it for that. They literally they don't last. They just snap. So annoying. If anybody can recommend a good 
flexible gorilla pod that doesn't break i'd love to know i'd especially like to know from people that use it a lot like every day a lot because you know you might have one for months and say it lasted me months but only film now and then <laughs> unlike me <laughs> so yeah looking for tripod recommendations oh my gosh i'm sweating so much it's probably a bit tmi but it's all over the book that i've been using just as a <laughs> to lean on i'm not used this is so embarrassing this i got this from a portuguese supermarket years ago it's like a workbook to learn portuguese for little kids little 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 but it was still quite a challenge for me by the time i translated it all <laughs> one of my many reading exercises like uh, it's like this is only portuguese people watching this now this is like mega embarrassing but literally it was a challenge to me so <laughs> Uh, it's actually quite hard to find good workbooks to learn European Portuguese. There seems to be like a world shortage of them, unless some have sprung up. Mind, there do seem to be lots of courses that you can subscribe to to do online. I may resort to that one day. I want to do a class though. I wanted to do a class with other humans because I've been, you know, a single parent for so long and not been able to do it for so, so long. I just want to do it for the social aspect, you know, if nothing else. We're coming together with a common interest and then, you know, going away and having your allocated work to do every week. And language lessons are really sociable because you basically practice talking all the way through, but in a structured way. So it's just great. But COVID is just, it's not making it possible yet. It's seven o'clock now. I think I'm gonna have to stop and get some dinner on. I did have a little bit of interruption because I was doing a bit of chatting to people. The news is just in. We're having an extreme heat wave following this heat wave. Got a weather warning for excessive heat in the low 30s. I mean, it's already hitting 30 anyway, but uh, going up even more. My mum is not gonna be happy. It's half past seven now. I'm cooking dinner. I'm doing some tortellini that I had in the fridge, left over from the big Tesco shop and I had some cabbage which I've finely shredded and added and a green pepper and thereafter it's all frozen stuff so I've used some frozen sliced mushrooms and some frozen soya beans I've seasoned it with garlic puree actually because I was feeling lazy some frozen ginger and a bit of kikkerman soy sauce and that's it for the seasoning but it smells beautiful in its simplicity and I'm going to add some cheddar cheese on top once it's done. I think Izzy is feeling a lot better. I was in chatting to her just now and she seems perkier. She says she feels the same, but honestly, I think she's a lot better. I can just tell. She says she's got this awful fatigue, but her body language suggests otherwise. So I think, I think she's not as bad as she thinks she is, but we'll see. You know, mums know these things. That girl is on the mend, you mark my words. <laughs> her cough is still very chesty though. There's still a lot coming up when she's coughing, but I, I really, I feel a lot better about the situation today. I do think she is most definitely on the up. But if you'd like to support this channel, do give the video a like. It really does help it to get pushed out there into the world of YouTube and new eyeballs. And I really appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of our stories, do hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!